I would like to begin by acknowledging that Concordia University is located on unceded indigenous land. The Ganye Gahaga Nation is recognized as the custodians of the lands and waters on which we gather today. Jokjoge, or Montreal, is historically known as a gathering place for many indigenous nations. Today, it is home to a diverse population of indigenous peoples and Canadian settlers. We respect the continued connections with the past, present, and future in our ongoing relationships with indigenous peoples and settler peoples within Jokjoge or the Montreal community. When the Indigenous Directions Leadership Council designed the Territorial Land Acknowledgement for Concordia University, I think they did a wonderful job in connecting the meaning of that land acknowledgement with who we are as a university and the place where we're at. The acknowledgement makes reference to the Kanyagaaga peoples as the custodians of the lands and the waters on which Concordia's campuses are located, but it also talks about Jajoge, Montreal, as a gathering point historically for many diverse First Nations and of course today for people from around the world. And that diversity is something that marks Concordia. We have students coming not only from many, many Indigenous communities across Quebec, across Canada, across North America and around the world, but we have students from 150 different countries at Concordia, speaking different languages, with different cultures. And I think expressing that in the territorial acknowledgement as a value and as something that we value is absolutely crucial to the identity of the university and the space that we are in. My name is Donna Gaharakwis Goodleaf, and I'm standing on the land of Kanyakahaga my community, Gahnawage. I wanted to talk about the importance of the territorial land acknowledgement and why it's important for Concordia to express that and to also demonstrate what that means in relationship to Indigenous peoples, to Indigenous students, faculty and staff, and to the wider community. And I think that time has come where universities across Canada are beginning to wake up and to begin to start acknowledging and recognizing the land that these institutions have been built upon. For those of us involved in higher education today, it's an opportunity to think about the importance of education in making things right and helping to improve society and to enable people to be the best contributors to the future that they can possibly be. The timing is right where now we will come together and begin to open up those institutional spaces that we need as Indigenous peoples and to create the programs and services that will not only support and benefit Indigenous students, faculty and staff, but as well as Concordia University as a whole and local Indigenous communities. I'm really looking forward to working with the faculty and the staff and leadership in Concordia uh, together where we can really map out and begin to implement and bring to life all the mandate areas of the action plan.